Hey everyone, today I'm showing you how I made this retro sun design. Also, you can grab this file on Gumroad for a few bucks if you want to check it out. I have a few things for sale over there, like my glitch effect, but I've also been putting free wallpapers over there too. Links are always in the description. Okay, let's get started. So in this one, I'm just going to show you what I did and not really explain anything. If you want more of an explanation, uh, I put out a video right around the same time that's uh, much longer, around 20 minutes, and it has uh, all of the... Uh, concepts and explanations. So let's go. So add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees on the X, look through your camera and just scale it up but don't apply the scale. Go into shading, uh, render view, look through the camera, add a new texture, just gonna name this sun, find your node. Just gonna replace this with an emission, a transparent, and a mix shader. And I'm just going to plug these in. There you go. Make sure you change this to uh, Alpha Blend and turn this to None also. Uh, that's up to you though for the shadow. Uh, then I'm going to add a texture coordinate and a vector math node. And I'm going to change this to Length and use the Object coordinate and plug this into here. And now we should see a circle, but I just want that to be a hard edge. So I'm going to add a regular math node and set this to less than and change this to one. And I'm also going to swap these around. Then I'm going to add a wave texture, plug in the UV texture coordinate, uh, grab this less than right here. I'm going to change it to greater than and change this to 0.5 and also change this to Y. And I'm going to subtract one from the other with a math node. Just set to subtract and plug this in here and then preview and we're getting this result right now. Uh, and it looks wrong so we just have to clamp that and it should be right. Next we're going to distort these waves. So first I'm going to add a mapping node and I'm going to take this length right here, duplicate that and grab the UV. Uh, check this out, grab another mapping to put in front of here, and I'm just going to scale the X to zero so it's like a linear gradient. And clean this up a little like that. Change our wave texture scale to one, and I'm just going to plug this length into the scale in the mapping. Then add a math node, place it right there, set that to multiply add. And so you can adjust the scale with the add end right here and the, the distortion with the multiply like that. And if you do want to rotate this, it's not really going to work. You have to add another mapping node before it and just make sure you clear the scale. And then you can rotate it whatever way you want. We're also going to use uh, this same setup. So I'm just going to duplicate that and plug in the coordinates. We're going to plug this actually into the greater than right here. I'm just going to change this first one to not be distorting like that so we can see what's going on. If we have no distortion here, you can see these are equal width. The add end controls the greater than and the multiplier once again controls the distortion so you get this kind of effect. Next we're going to add some distortion. So I'm just going to move this back and add another mapping node right here and a noise texture right here. And I'm going to use the object coordinates for this and plug this into the location. And we can control that with a math node set to multiply. So you can set this to zero to remove distortion and turn it up a little to add distortion. And you can also set this to 4D if you want to animate the W right here like that. And to add color, I'm just going to add another noise texture and just place it down here and plug the object coordinates in from way over there. Bring it a little closer to the emission and plug it into the emission right here. And what I did was add a mix RGB right here and plug the noise into the factor right here. And you can just adjust these two colors. So I did mine black and red. And I turned the detail all the way up and the roughness all the way up also. And then I added a math node set to greater than and left it at 0.5. And you can also set this to 40 if you would like to animate the texture like that. So I'm just going to turn this distortion off. And another thing that I should point out before I end this is that you can turn the texture that's distorting to greater than by 90 degrees. And when you add some distortion, uh, you get these like sideways triangles. And if they look smooth, that's because the wave texture is set to sign. And you need to change that to triangle and it will get sharper right here.
And so this should give you everything you need to know to make the animations that you saw. Yeah, so that's how you do it. And if you want to uh, grab this on Gumroad, I packaged it a little um, more neatly so that it's in this uh, reusable node um, and it should have all the values you need. Um, and if you open it up, everything is organized with frames. So you can just look through and uh, see where everything is if you do want to alter it at all. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you like this, consider subscribing. And if you make something when you follow this, tag me on Instagram to show me. I like seeing your work. Thanks for watching. See ya.